Well, we thought with Ashley here we would uh, make use of the demo teams that we have here. And Ash, um, we're just looking at line-out play, particularly WAS, uh, but many, many other sides, the way that they use uh, the back row ball carriers off of line-out. We've picked out a couple of clips um, of, uh, of you playing for WAS this season. Um, and this is, just talk us through some of these. This, I think, is a defensive one against Newcastle. Yeah, I think defensive line you just want to get out of your half. So there's a kind of bit of a vacuum there between the last defender and the first, first guy out. So you just want to get on with it. Whereas uh, other times you want to more of attacking uh, five-man line you want to put it up a bit wider to create option for you for your back. Uh, then this one against Sale, obviously, uh, you know, you're there. I think Nathan Hughes is there maybe as a decoy runner, and then the ball sometimes goes across you as well. Yeah, I mean, all the teams uh, do their analysing and they would recognise, listen, yeah, there's two forwards out there, so we have to target. So it makes um, space for, for the rest of the guys. And yeah. I mean, the way teams defend sometimes, there's a weaker defender on the yeah. outside. So you try and do your strong ball carriers to, to target the weaker defenders on the outside. Brilliant. Well, listen, while we've got you and the demo teams on the show, we thought we might just have a look at a couple of those scenarios, maybe recreate some of those. If I can give the ball to our demo team. Ashley, just organise our uh, defence. are looking a little bit yeah. concerned, I must say. But <laughs> just go, just, if we go through that first scenario, uh, if we're trying to exit from our own 22, you're the ball carrier, you're the back row carrier. Just give us an idea of, of what's going through your mind, you know, what, what you're looking to do, both individually and as a team. Yeah, I think from a, from a, from a line-up perspective, you're on your own 22, so your opposition line going to emphasis a lot on the, of, uh, on the line-up. So you probably, probably try and concentrate on a vacuum here, just to go up here. We throw the ball in, throw the ball we can get our ball in. Please. Beautifully served. So what you try to do here is, is Try and go as flat as possible on the advantage line. Don't give your opposition time to get over. Try and either get in the vacuum or just, if you have good time, play it on to your, to your fellow back row mate and try and get over the so ball. So ideally, you probably wouldn't take too much risk. You know, if the, if the offload's on, you'll take that option. But otherwise, you're looking just to take it up and reset the ball and, and clear your lines. Yeah, main objective here is to exit your line, play field position here. And then if we move, uh, the second clip we saw there, when you move a bit further up the field, I notice that the ball, and I'm sure all, the, all sides do this, they take the ball a bit further, um, a, a bit further back in the line-out, and the ball goes to Andy Goode first, maybe to the 10, and yeah. you look to attack a little bit wider. Um, just give, us, give the viewers an idea at home. What are, you, what are we trying to do? Are we looking to get a mismatch and hit one of their backs? I noticed you, you directly looked at Danny Cipriani and tried to target him. Yeah, normally a lot of back rows would stack inside your 10. So normally, not saying 10s are weaker defenders, but obviously they're a bit no, you, smaller you than... you are, definitely. <laughs> which is fine. And, and they are, by the way. Smaller than your back rows. So you'd normally try and target them. So what normally happens, we give Andy the ball, and you'd either hit the back row here, mismatch on the, on the opposite flop, or the ball would get across to the one back row. Eating up there. What yeah. would happen then is a lot of attention would be drawn to this first first uh, player, and yeah. there would be space outside. Well, as we saw with the Christian Way try, in fact, all four defenders came in on you, and that created the space for um, for the for Elliot Daly out wide. Now I'm assuming at Was, and I'm sure with the other clubs, when you have big uh, big uh, ball carriers like yourself and Nathan, all the other players will be. Uh, you know, support running lines off you for, the, for those offloads, yeah? Yeah, I think especially with Stephen Jones being our, our attacking coach, a lot of emphasis is normally, after we've done a look at a recap, is also what the guys on the outside are. So we always tell the boys on the outside, come up with, with the attack. So don't get left, um, um, get, um, left behind. Yeah. If you make a bust, everyone focusing yeah. towards the ball. If you go down, you're straight in on the clean, or you're there for, for, for uh, pop, for support line. Well, I think that's been... You give it to the really big fella who's just like traps <laughs> it up and that's takes been, it through. That's been a massive reason why Wasps have been so successful this season with the likes of Ashley and Nathan, for sure. I wouldn't fancy tackling either of you.